a local story that went viral about a boy named Andrew McDonough fighting childhood cancer kind of took our community by storm. You know, unfortunately, Andrew lost his fight, um, but he was an inspiration to so many people for how long he fought the Andrew McDonough Be Positive Foundation started by Andrew's family. And, uh, you know, we were just able to do a lot when I got to University of Delaware just expanded even more and um, our football team uh, got what we call a, a be positive hero and that was Danny Feltwell and uh, you know, that's how my relationship with Danny got started. Hey what's up dude? Not much how are you? I'm good. That's a cool jersey you got behind you. Oh yeah that's yours. <laughs> I always felt stressed. I always felt like, am I gonna get better? How is this gonna turn up? Like, I didn't know where my next step was gonna be. And whenever I got to see see the guys and Troy, it just made me happy. Danny is an unbelievable kid. He was around our football program all the time. Just got to start building that relationship with uh, a little brother and a friend. You know, medical expenses can be tough. I know getting medicine can even be tough. Really, if you just need help, that foundation, which in this case is Be Positive, um, can really help you through that. What I've seen in his fight is, um, you know, not just the financial, not just the donations and different stuff like that that are huge, but, you know, just being there. The reason why social work is coupled with oncology or cancer clinics is because we know that the diagnosis not only impacts the patient, it also impacts the friends, the neighbors, and most certainly the families of anybody diagnosed with cancer. Our entire intention every day when we come into work is how can we best support this patient? How can we best care for this patient? And we know that this is very difficult on people. It's very difficult for the human experience. So why not provide people who not only will support you, but have also been through this in some capacity and know exactly how to guide you? This is a fight that just, it can wear you out. Um, you get tired, uh, the families get tired. So, you know, I think just being there, um, that kind of support is huge. Great game yesterday. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah were you watching? Uh, yeah, that was one of the <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know, as a professional athlete, you feel like you're an inspiration to a lot of people, but you're looking for inspiration yourself. and. And for me, it's, these kids have really been inspiring. As long as you know, people continue to have this type of platform, you know, we can kind of spread his story uh, to as many people as possible. I always have this saying, I believe in you. So no matter how hard you do, keep fighting. No matter if you're playing basketball or even, even fighting cancer, never give up.